another MJH Images T2. Uh, yeah, as it says, we're looking at those uh, heater core flanges or couplers, um, part of the heater matrix. Um, yeah, why am I doing these? Um, just a little issue with, with coolant possibly leaking out inside, so I'm hoping it's not too serious and hoping this fix it. Um, we'll go into detail uh, once we, we get out there and also see if that solves the issue. Um, just occasionally the, the, the window gets the sort of like, I don't know, it mists up kind of thing and you can smell that thing, so I'm hoping it's not the dreaded matrix. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the couplers and then we'll get started. So let's have another look. Here we are there. I'll um, put the description in the, uh, the part number in the description below side. so on my particular model mark one um, two year 2000 um, I've got one shaped at this angle um, I can say you can get these off eBay but I decided to get this one from the main dealer as the prices were pretty pretty much the same so I just wanted to make sure I got the genuine part and um, yeah um, I think what it is, I think often it's the little O-rings um, inside that, that potentially go. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes these can crack, but generally it's the O-rings. I think the O-rings can be replaced, but I just thought for the price of it and the... I'd hazard a guess that mine have been on there since new, which is over 20 years. So, yeah, there we go there. Uh, let's go to go. Okay, here we are. Uh, and it's down in, uh, let's see if you can see, uh, let's go this way, uh, down in there, down there, anyway, gotta get rid of, I'm gonna take out this, uh, I'm gonna take off my canister thing, um, off the back, clear some space so we can see them, and um, all you need is a screwdriver, and away you go. Let's come back in a second. Okay, uh, this area clear. Uh, now I've just hinged it there and unloosen that, hinge that pipe across here. Uh, lower that down there, you can see the one and the two next to each other. There, you can see the clips one do there and that one. Um, you can see the coupler end. Um, just underneath there, if I zoom in, um, you might be able to just see that bit there. Um, there we go. So we'll be getting underneath there, pulling that pin, taking this off, uh, and clicking. And put the new one on so it's very straightforward um it's just really <laughs> if things get difficult to come off i don't know how long these have been on for we will find out um yeah so that's next so you see that one uh, maybe it's a case of that one first and then we can see to do that one yeah, and then it'll probably be that one first back in, and then that one. Okay, let's get on with it. So it's been done blind. I think I've got something. Oh. There we go. I think that's... Yeah, that's down. Um, now this is where we have to be careful that we don't break anything. Um, so I'm told the best is to uh, give it a little wiggle in and out, side to side, in and out. Um, see how that is. Let's see. That's on pretty tough. Well, OK. 
can say that ain't budging so easy. Let's see what I'm It's just a little weevil. Softly. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give it. Took that out totally. So we know that's not we're gonna wiggle. I can feel it. We're not gonna pull it too much. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there we go. So it is just a side to side, eventually it does come off. I'm just going to hold that up there. Finding the end. Um, I think you've just got to... down a bit enough let's just give that a wiggle okay um okay I'm gonna try and see if I can pull that pin out like I did with the other one Okay, we've got two ends of the wiggle and it's off. So okay, here we are. So that's the difficult one, uh, which we'll get in first. It has, okay, okay. So yeah, there's a difficult one. So yeah, it has those uh, slots in there, so we can only go on one way, the slot on. What we'll do first is So it looks a bit like that. It's been too, okay. And then we'll just put a bit on here. Okay. Um. Yep. Okay, I'm trying to line it up. Mm. Yeah, I think I felt it in the groove. Um. Yeah, that's, that's gone in there. 
Let's feed it. And that's locked in there, so we actually that felt quite good. Yep. Feels good. Take the old one off. Um, yeah, that's the next. Okay, uh, there we have the tricky one is on. First one. But I still just gotta get that that clip. That was wonderful. Um Clips to see if we can see where it is. It's down there at the minute. I've got to try and get it back up to lock it on where it used to be. Uh, yeah, it is fun and games getting it to come off, but um, it does work. It's easy enough. Just keep at it. Um, so I'm going to put that on and then start on the second one. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's come back in a little while. Okay, just wanted to show you these two. Um, that's the one I've just taken out, hence all the uh, coolants you can see inside. Now, I just want to put this alongside a new one. I don't know if it's coming up. You can see the O ring in that one, yeah. Uh, and then you can see it in there. I wait, but I don't know if it's coming out that you can an aerial view you can see the o-ring and there you can't oh, I'm just trying to show this so it maybe it has worn but yeah I don't know what you think whether that's coming out judging by that I would say yeah it needed to be changed um, yeah, you can just take that the O-rings and change the O-ring and that should do the trick. Um, but as they were that expensive, I thought by I was buy the whole new complete. Um yeah, so yeah, there we have it. Uh, okay, yeah, just thought uh, since we're in here, doing the same thing with this, a bit of the uh the lithium grease. Um Just a dab in there. There we go. And a bit on the outside there. Get it on there. Yeah. My verdict uh, use a grease that you're happy with. Um, just makes it go on easier and, and seals better. Um, okay, back to the go. Okay, so uh, we we'll sort of take that clip off. I'm going to get this on. It's greased up at the level. Okay. Oh. Sold that up there. Again. Can only go on one way. Uh, pushed in. There you go. That's definitely on. Clipped in. I'm happy with that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm happy with the grease that's on there, so let's just put that back in. Put that there, if you can see. Let's so we'll give that a wiggle back on. Into place a bit more. Ooh. And a little bit more. There we, there we go. Okay. So I've just got to get that clip back up into place. Right, okay. So if I can get you a little bit closer and see what you can see. As you can see, all back into place. Give it a little tug, but yeah, that's good. It all clicked, you will feel it. Lock into position and to get it in so that's all good yeah don't forget don't forget to uh, top up the level um, yeah let me just show you my level is currently at 
there and you can just see that. You know we might have a bit of any system but we'll let it run. Um, yeah. What's up to? Good. Okay, um, yeah, so <laughs> in a nutshell, that's it. The job, easy enough to do. Um, yeah, like I said, you can get your parts from eBay or you can get it for directly from Audi. I got mine directly from Audi because the price is pretty similar, so choice is yours. Um, yeah, just the tools you need is just a, a pick or a screwdriver and some hose pipe clamp ones or I use mole grips because I haven't got any of the uh, the holes clamp grip things um, but yeah those two things screwdriver and various tools to take off your various pipes out of the way but there isn't many but you know um, pretty straightforward job uh, yeah still got a couple more things need doing um, getting things out of the way before the spring and the summer um, so yeah watch your space and um, take care and we'll see you in the next one uh, remember all that good stuff and peace we out